what's up my people welcome back to another video so i came across this video earlier and it made me think back to some things that i've seen in the past so i decided to make a video on this one so i've seen people get upset at parents because they feel like there are certain things that they are doing to protect that their child that is in their eyes extreme but videos like this are the reasons why parents do what they do because you have some strangers out there that just have no boundaries nothing and first of all i feel like it is weird for anybody outside of the mother and the father to even want or attempt to kiss a baby on the mouth. I do not care if you are a family member. There is no reason why you should feel the need to kiss a baby on the mouth. That is not your child. I don't care if you are an auntie, uncle, grandmother, grandfather. There is no reason why you need to kiss the baby pan the mouth. That is not your child. To me, that is weird. That is weird because you never carry the child. You never have no parts in a making the child. So why you feel the need to go out of your way if you kiss somebody's baby is just beyond me. And to be completely honest, I don't even feel like the dad should kiss the baby until the baby gets to a certain a certain um i'd say age bracket so like a few months a few months along i don't see a problem with the with the dad kissing the baby that's their child but i do not feel like when the baby is new everybody know this a child's immune system takes a while to develop and they can they can pick up any kind of infection at the drop of a dime. So you have to be careful. And like our immune system, we grow on and tough and we can make it through certain things. The least little thing, the baby has to in a hospital a battle for life. Because them immune system not develop yet. And you know what? I'm not going to leave out this part either. If you are a careless mama or papa, don't put your mouth on the picnic period. I'm not business for you after, after your picnic. If you're, if you're careless and out there live your life recklessly, no kiss your picnic neither. Because you are going to put your child, you don't know where you go, they go pick up. And then you are going to put your child at risk when you come, come kiss your picnic and probably pass on something to them. That is just my take. And again, me, I was not saying that dads shouldn't kiss their kids, period. That's their child. I'm just saying, wait until the child gets to a certain point before anything like that. Because their immune system is not fully developed, it is very easy for them to pick up any infection. So we have to be careful. Not saying you cannot kiss your child so nobody no come attack me. So me say them can't kiss them pick me. I am just saying wait until your child gets to a certain point before you do that. Make sure so them immune system develop somewhat to where them body can fight off certain things easily. And yes, I said if you are a careless mama or papa, keep your mouth off of your pick me. I don't care if it's your child. At the end of the day, you are living recklessly and you can go to go pick up anything and give it to your child. But do not let anybody, any and anybody, kiss your child because as you can see in this video, as you will see in this video, the consequences of those actions can be very severe. Please watch the video and just leave a comment in this comment section and let's have a conversation about this one farewell to their baby their grief immeasurable 
Little Mariana Seifert was just 18 days old when she died, and it was all due to a kiss. Everything perfect, 6 pounds, 14 ounces, and 19 inches long. Um, just a bundle of joy. She was just increasingly declining at really fast. Yeah, hour by hour, it just got worse. Mariana had contracted meningitis. Someone infected with the herpes simplex virus had kissed her. And three days later, she succumbed. Shane held her in his arms, as, and I, you know, stood over him as she passed away. It was almost unimaginable. I started, like, going through everyone who had came to visit, like, could it be this person, could it be that person? And the doctor finally told me at one point, you can't live like that because it's going to end up killing you. It's going to rip you apart. We were there with her parents' permission as Mariana was laid to rest in a tiny pink coffin. They hope her death will serve as a warning for all new parents.